guys. Welcome to Single Chef. I'm Matt Scholar. I'm your classic single guy with the classic single guy fridge and ingredients. The difference is I know how to use these items simply and quickly to create a tasty meal that even you can't mess up. Now it's so easy that even a woman will be impressed by it, huh? But if you can't take my word for it, you can't not take our lovely friend Lily's word for it. How you doing tonight, Lily? I'm good, Matt. How you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to cook some food. Good. I'm ready to eat. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. I'm hungry. Me too. Awesome. So what are you cooking? I'm glad you asked. Tonight, guys, I'm going to be cooking my version, the single chef version of chicken teriyaki. I'm also going to have some broccoli with that, and we're going to experiment with a little chow mein noodles. I have cooked it before, so it won't be that much of an experiment, experimentation. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I have some water boiling over here, so I'm going to take my broccoli and just blanch that for a minute. And what blanching means, if you don't know, it's simply like when you're working with broccoli or string beans, you want to soften them up a little bit, you just kind of throw them in some hot water, which I'm doing right now. And it just, for like a minute or two, and just softens up before you maybe like stir fry or do whatever you're going to do with those items. So here we go, throwing the broccoli in. Um, now, Lily, yeah. you, my friend, yeah. are from the lovely state of California, from Southern California, I am, correct? Yeah. So, all right, we're doing a little teriyaki tonight. Um, is that something that you're, that you're familiar with or you enjoy? I do enjoy it. Yeah? Yeah. Are I there don't any... eat it a lot. Okay. There is a place that I go to on, from time to time. Tell me. Uh, it's called Socks. Socks? Socks. Oh, Socks. <laughs> you mean like Red Socks, like the Boston Red Socks? Like S, I think it's S A K S. S A K S. In Westwood. Okay. Yeah. And that you like to get some teriyaki it's, there? It's really dirt cheap, probably the worst stuff I'm putting <laughs> in my body, but it's delicious. Right. Well, you know, sometimes some of the best places you can go are, are dirt cheap and you get a really nice meal, so sucks. Sacks. Sacks <laughs> in Westwood. All right, cool. Keep that in mind. Just so you know, guys, anybody who's in their room joining us uh, in the room live.com, which is where we shoot this out of, you're welcome to ask any questions you have. Um, Lily's on the computer, so she'll field those questions and we'll uh, try to answer them best we can. Okay, so I have my broccoli in the water. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some canola oil. Oh, um, excuse me. Uh, one thing I forgot is that what we use on this show every, every, time we use it, every time we do a show is we have our 10 single guy ingredients. And let me list those ingredients for you in case you don't know. We use canola oil. I have some ketchup. We've got mayonnaise. I've got Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. I've got mustard and salt and pepper. You've got to have salt and pepper, guys, so if you don't, go buy some. And I've also got some garlic powder. Funny story about the garlic powder today is that when I came up here, I forgot to bring the garlic powder. So I just took a, I went up on Cuenga Avenue up there. There's a pizza place. I asked this nice lady who owns a place if I can have some garlic powder. I said, hey, I have a cooking show. Can I have some garlic powder? She's like, oh, how much do you need? Which is, that was her accent. How much do you need? I was like, just a little thing. So that's where I got my garlic powder today. Um, okay, so I'm going to put some canola oil in our skillet, which is warming up right now. We're going to start that chicken. Actually, that's, that's not true. We're going to cut some vegetables, and then we're going to put the chicken in there. <laughs> Matt, uh, I have yes. a question for you. Really? Yes. Let's hear it. From a woman named Lovely Deb. Lovely Deb. She sounds lovely. She probably is. <laughs> All right. Uh, she wants to know how long it takes to blanch something. Um, that's a great question. Like I said before, like normally you don't want to put it in there for more than two or three minutes. If, it, if the water's really hot, two minutes tops take it out because you don't want to soften those vegetables too much. I like to have crunch in my vegetables. The point is just to soften them a little bit so when you go to use them in your stir fry or whatever you're going to do with them, they've already been softened a little bit. In fact, I'm going to check on my broccoli. As soon as I chop up some of these peppers here, I have a red bell pepper and that's just going to add a little bit of flavor and color to our dish tonight. And I have a little bit of onion here, which I'm also going to chop into the saute pan, which we're going to put our chicken in. So good question two or three minutes tops, and that's what, when I'm done cutting these vegetables and put them in the skillet, I'm going to take my broccoli out. But keep the questions coming, guys. I mean, I'm digging the whole interactive thing, so this is how we all learn. For those of us, you know, who don't know how to do these simple techniques, this is a good way to learn. Okay, um, actually, let me cut those hey, a Matt. little thinner. Yes. Sorry, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. No, us. please. Lovely Deb had something to add. Le let's hear it, Lovely Deb. <laughs> She likes your new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you noticed, lovely Deb. <laughs> Just for those of you who know, I do own more than one shirt that's blue. I actually have a green one and a couple others too, which if you're lucky, I'll wear them on the next show. <laughs> oh! 
See, I got that oil nice and hot so you can hear those veggies already crisping up and getting uh, sizzling up, which we like to hear. We don't want it to be too low. We want a nice, you know, sizzle when we throw our veggies in there. So I'm going to throw my onions in as well. I'm just going to mix those up, and I'm going to test my broccoli here. Um, right here, I have, one of, I have one of these. I think they're called tongs. Um, this is a useful tool in the kitchen, guys. I don't use that many tools, but this, a knife and a spatula and some forks, and you're good to go. So let me just uh, test out a piece of broccoli. It's going to be really hot. I, just from feeling it, I can tell whether or not it's ready. But actually, let me run that under some water real quick, cool that off, and take a bite. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to take out this broccoli. No, what? Actually, I'm going to scoop it out of the water and try and save that water because we're going to boil our uh, lo mein noodles in that water. So, for the sake of time, I'm just going to scoop out the broccoli and put that in a strainer for now. And then I'll throw our lo mein noodles in there in just a second because the lo mein noodles only take like three or four minutes. So, I'm going to put a little bit more water in here and we'll get that boiling again. Matt, I have another question. Please. I'm Whenever loving the questions. Ready. All right. This is from Kimmy88, and she's wondering yeah. um, what, what you can do uh, to prevent crying while cutting onions. To, vet, to prevent crying? Yeah. Um, don't, don't watch the notebook. No. Um, <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. Uh, I, I'm not really sure. You know, what you want to maybe is have a little ventilation in your kitchen or wherever you're cooking. And um, if you do feel yourself to start welling up, maybe just take a break, take a step away, and then, uh, and then put some Visine on and then go at it again. <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> I really don't have a direct answer for that. I've heard if you put uh, bread in your mouth while you're cutting the onion. Bread like, in your mouth? Yeah, like hold a piece of bread in your mouth while you cut the onion. And really? It soaks up, I don't know. That sounds cool. So, maybe try bread in your mouth. It. <laughs> Maybe better than stepping away. Um, so here's our chicken. This is boneless, skinless uh, chicken breast. I'm going to throw this on this show on this camera. I've sliced the breasts in half, which um, will make them cook quicker. And also, um, just you know, so you don't have to cut into such a thick piece of chicken. I'm going to throw that on our skillet over our uh, veggies right now. So I've got my chicken on there, and I'm just going to um, use the spatula to kind of just stir that around a little bit. This way it'll absorb some of that flavor from the, uh, from the peppers and onions as well. Oh, they're sticking together a little bit there. I'm gonna use my hand and get that away. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's on there. I don't have to worry about that for a minute. Um, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna make my own teriyaki sauce tonight. So I've done this a few times, and it actually is really easy. So let me go through the steps with you guys really quick. First of all, you got some soy sauce, one of our 10 single guy ingredients. And I'm using this uh, plastic cup so everyone can see. And again, plastic cup, guys, keeping it real simple on Single Chef. You got to have, you know, paper cups or plastic cups in your house. They come in handy for more than just drinking water out of, or a beer. So I'm going to make a decent amount of sauce, so I'm going to fill this one-third of the way with soy sauce. Okay, so that's enough soy sauce. That's pretty salty. Actually, even though this is low sodium, that's enough soy sauce to start with. I have some sugar in this bowl right here, and I'm just going to take a, you know, a tablespoon here, and I'm going to throw some sugar in there, and maybe just a little bit more. And while I'm making this stuff, I'm going to taste it just to make sure it's where it needs to be. I'm going to take that garlic powder that I got from the pizza place today, and I'm going to throw some of that in there as well. I don't measure anything, and if you ever watch this show, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll see that I don't really measure anything. Um, so that's why I just kind of, I do it to how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel pretty good about the amount of <laughs> garlic and sugar I put in there. I know it sounds kind of uh, simple, but I'm a simple guy. I have some rice wine vinegar here, and this is, these are some of the odd items that I bought today. I bought some rice wine vinegar. I bought an onion. I bought some garlic cloves, the bell pepper, and you know I had some sugar in the pantry. And so I'm going to put some of this rice wine vinegar in our mixture here. And that's going to cut some of that sodium um, of the soy sauce. I'm going to mix that up. So the sugar gives it the sweetness. 
The garlic powder gives it some spice and some flavor. This will cut the soy. And I also like to add a little lemon juice and other, one other ingredient that you might find interesting that it, there might be some chefs in some restaurants be like, wow, what the heck are you doing? But like I said, I've worked with it before and it works good. So I'm going to put a little lemon juice in there as well. Okay. And I'm just going to take a tiny little taste of that. Matt, we have a viewer here. That tastes pretty good. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, I like pasta 100. <laughs> I love it. That's a great name. Wants to know if you're going to use the Thousand Island dressing. Ah. <laughs> um, obviously a fan of the Thousand Island dressing, <laughs> right? I like it. We should hang out, grab a beer. Um, tonight I'm not using Thousand Island dressing. For this meal, um, there's no purpose for it, but if you'd like, I could spritz a little bit on top at the end. But no, tonight I wasn't planning on using our Thousand Again, these are our basic ingredients that we were not going to use every time we, you know, we were cooking, but but these are really all you really need to complete a really nice dish. So great question. Won't be using the Thousand Island tonight though. Okay, so I've got my chicken here. It's, it's cooking up nicely. As you can see on camera, there's a nice, uh, the pieces are getting nice and brown, which I like. And the chicken's going to take, you know, uh, it's going to take at least probably 10 to 12 minutes. So we have plenty of time for that. Probably another six, seven minutes on the chicken before I throw my uh, teriyaki sauce on top. So what I want to get working now is I want to get these lo mein noodles working. So let me just put these tongs down here. And our water is boiling, so I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, canola oil in the water so the noodles don't stick. And that's a good idea when you're cooking pasta um, is to use a little bit of oil and maybe a little bit of salt in the water so it doesn't stick. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, canola oil in there. And I'm going to throw... And this is what they look like before, you know, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, you get lo mein. Here's what it looks like before they cook it. Let me show you on this camera. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> look, guys, it's noodles. Um, okay, so basically, I'm just going to take out, I'm not even going to use the whole package. I'm going to use like three quarters of it. And I'm going to throw it right in the water. Matt, we have another question. Excellent. Let's hear it. Um, LA Live in 85. Yeah, love the names. Love Wants the screen name. No. Yeah. Why why do you think they're called tongs? What is this trick question night? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm a single guy who cooks at home and showing you guys. <laughs> why do I think they're called tongs? I mean that's why I didn't do very good at like pop quizzes in high school. Um I'm gonna guess maybe no, this is terrible, I can't answer it. Uh I'm putting a little bit more sugar in my teriyaki sauce. Uh is it maybe an Asian thing? I don't know. You've stumped the single chef. We have a game show now. It's Stump the Single Chef. You just stumped me. Do you guys have any ideas? Um, <laughs> I'll think about it. Okay. I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'll, I'll think about that, guys, and I'll try and get you an honest answer. Honestly, I, I have no clue. I don't know. So I've added a little bit more sugar because when I've tasted it previously, it was a little still heavy on the salt. So I'm going to just take a little, and I'm not double dipping, so you know, this is a different spoon. Okay, that's actually really close. Here's my little s secret ingredient that, that, like I said, some like professional chefs might scoff at. We're gonna use one of our 10 single ingredients here, single guy ingredients, some ketchup. I'm just gonna plop a little bit in there. And that's gonna give it a little more sweetness. I know you might be thinking, oh, what are you doing with the ketchup? Trust me, Lil Lily will tell you later if it tastes good or not, but I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, I'm taking my broccoli out. And as you see, I got my broccoli in the strainer here. I'm just going to put that to the side. We're going to work with that in a minute, too. I'm going to rinse that spoon that I just uh, took, a, took a sip with, and I'm gonna, just going to mix that ketchup in there. And our teriyaki sauce is, uh, is good to go. We're going to put that aside for now, and we're going to use that in just a few minutes. Let me check on my chicken. Always, guys, you know, when you're cooking, like, with chicken or any kind of meat, you don't want to overcook it. I mean... I'm sure like we all have had times where we've gone out to dinner or maybe our moms who are very good cooks, we love them and they're great cooks, have overcooked the, the chicken. It's easy to do. I like my chicken so it's just really nice and tender and juicy. Sometimes I would cover it if I had a cover. I would do that right now. But I forgot to bring that too and the pizza lady didn't have a cover. Matt. Yo. Happy Joe 45 says... Only a single guy would spice something up with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Listen, 
As a single guy, I've had time to experiment in my kitchen. <laughs> and sometimes we take a bold leap, like, hey, let's see what ketchup would taste like there. I'm like, you know what? Not half bad. One day I might have a cooking show and I'll show people that. So, yeah, I know it's kind of strange, but, but yeah, it's fun. You know, cooking should be fun. Cooking, to me, shouldn't be like uptight, you know, you know, where you're anxious. or Just have fun in the kitchen, man. If you, if you mess it up, you learn what works and you learn what doesn't work. And that's how I, that's how I learned to cook over the years. So, yeah, ketchup may be a little, little strange, but trust me, it's going to be good. Um, okay, so our noodles are, these only take, like I said, two to three minutes. So you don't, you don't want to overcook your noodles as well, otherwise they get really soft. So I'm just going to take a fork and I'm going to just test the noodles real quick. And I'm just going to rinse one under uh, some cold water so I don't burn my mouth. And, and that's going to take one more minute and that's going to be ready. So, as you can see on camera, our chicken is cooking up real nicely. Um, that'll be ready in just a minute or two. <coughs> I'm going to throw, excuse me, I think our noodle went up my nose. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> yep, it sure did. I can confirm that. It did go up my nose. Listen, there are hazards to using lo mein noodles, and that's one of them. So be careful when you're eating not to be talking too much and inhaling. All right, so <laughs> I've got my broccoli here. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Um, but it's, li it's live. We're live here in the room. Live, yeah. We're live in the room.com. Okay, I'm throwing my broccoli over my chicken right now, and then I'm going to take that teriyaki sauce, and I'm going to whip that up real nicely. So here we go. Nice sound effect. Thank you. I like, I like to add my own uh, sound effects like to my, to my cooking. Okay, so my broccoli's in there. I'm gonna take this spatula. And really, I've just put the broccoli in there because when I put the teriyaki sauce over that, I want the broccoli to absorb some of the teriyaki sauce as opposed to cooking the broccoli separately, putting it on the plate and not having that flavor. It's okay that the broccoli is not hitting the pan, you know, the bottom of the pan, because I still want the chicken to cook but I just want the broccoli to get some of that teriyaki flavor. And so when we plate this, you'll see what I do with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a nice looking plate tonight for us to eat off, we, you know? Like, cause we don't wanna be single forever. We actually wanna hopefully be like, you know, have a relationship someday. So you have to learn how to plate your food nicely so when a gal does come over, it looks nice. I like nice plated food. See, you gotta take it from Lily. She says she like, all right, there you go. I'm gonna take my noodles out guys and I'm gonna strain them real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just straining some of the water out of there. I know it's hard to see from back here, but I'm just gonna, you know, flip it up like that. No biggie, real easy, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna start plating. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these aside here, and I'm gonna take our plates, and I'm gonna do one at a time. But first, it's time for teriyaki time. We're gonna throw that sauce on there and watch that. Watch some magic happen. Okay, it's not quite like Disney magic, but uh, <laughs> trust me, there's some there's some culinary magic happening right now. Because what's gonna happen is the sugar is gonna start breaking down in the sauce. It's gonna start to sweeten up, thicken up. The ketchup's gonna thicken up, and all that's gonna dissolve together with the lemon juice and the soy and the rice wine, and it's gonna create a very nice flavor. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Hey, um, Matt. Yes. Uh, we have another question. Excellent. Let's hear it. This is from Fisherman38. All right. Um, can, you, can you do the same thing if you want to make beef teriyaki? Absolutely. The same, the same exact process, although you don't need to let the beef cook as long. Um, the beef depending on how you like it. If you like it medium rare, I would only put the beef on there for about five minutes. So I would have started my beef later. But excellent question. You absolutely can do the same thing with beef. You can do it with pork. You can do it with turkey. You can do whatever you want. I'm just, I'm washing my tongue so I'm getting any of the chicken that was on there that was raw. I'm just gonna give that a quick rinse. Okay, so these are clean now. And now we're getting ready to plate, guys. So I'm gonna take these noodles. And I'm gonna put them on the bottom of the plate like that. There's one there. And there's one. Really, we good. just heard from Matt, our director, that it actually smells good in here. So, and he's a vegetarian, so <laughs> it must smell good. 
What's that? Teriyaki noodles. Teriyaki noodles, exactly. So we got our noodles down, and I'm gonna gr I'm gonna take this stuff off because this is ready. And let me just show you real quick on camera there. If you can see, we've got everything bubbling and juicing just the way we like it. And this is gonna be three portions: one for me, one for Lily, one for you guys out there. Not really but one for our lovely executive producer is gonna have some food with us, Robin. And I'm just gonna put the broccoli on top. Mm. So Lily, you ready to eat, girl? So ready. All right, why don't you bring it over here. All right. We'll let this cool down for about 20 seconds and then uh, we'll burn our mouths and eat some food. Delicious. No, I'm just kidding, guys. You don't wanna burn yourself. I'm gonna put a little of the teriyaki sauce on there. It's gonna be a little hot, so you might wanna just let that cool for a second. It smells so good. Does it? Yeah. See guys, Lily tells the truth. Okay, so this is our finished product. Um, you know, I would just take my hands and maybe evenly, you know, put a few pieces on top like that. We have some silverware back here. So here you go. Thank you. Don't burn yourself. I'll try. Guys, I just want to thank you for joining us on Single Chef again. Um, we'll be back next week at the same time, 6 p.m. Pacific time, and uh, we'll be here in the roomlive.com so join us next week we're gonna go try this right now eat it with me okay i'm coming girl here we go mm. Mm -hmm. mm. that's some good homemade teriyaki sauce you like that mm -hmm. that's not bad right yeah i like the ketchup <laughs> can, you can taste the ketchup I can, yeah. oh no you can taste but, the ketchup but it's a good thing no it's a good thing well there you go guys from the mouth of our lovely Lily, who's our resident taste tester and friend. She likes it. I think you'll like it. So go ahead and try this. If you have any questions, you can email us at, you can email me at singlechef at gmail.com. Have a great night.